On an average day, the terminal over there, the amount of people that come through that place, if it was its own city, it would be like the seventh biggest city in the state. You put that in perspective, I mean, there's a lot of cities, Harry, Wilmington, all in that ballpark. They have a lot more staffing and a lot more fire equipment to protect the city. We're doing that with what we have out here. Everything is involved in the cities over there. There's maintenance, there's police, there's medic, there's fire, there's restaurants, there's shops. One good thing that we have here is the staff. So out here we have two of the three trucks at each station have two people on it and then one has three. So we're way ahead of the game as far as personnel that we're putting on the scene. All three shifts, they're all cross trained for the crash equipment. There's 11 subjects in aircraft rescue and firefighting that they have to be familiar with. The ability to stay ready and proficient on that stuff is something that they've worked hard on. Every day they're trying to do something, whether it's simulator training out there riding around, trying to get more familiar with talking on the airfield and communicating with the controllers. Uh, all that stuff is different. It's a different language. Not everyone can do it. It is something that they excel at out here.